Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I like to give you a mini lecture. A mini lecture on the truth of what is going on with all this uh, internal power, energy, chi, mindfulness, or mind power. Now, today's Chinese Kung Fu, and also in Wing Chun, or Tai Chi, or internal, it is pretty screw up. It is so screw up that people just made up stuff and living in a non exist world. They don't know what they are talking about, but they like to argue. They like to present like uh, everybody is know it all. Especially, some people will use like, oh, this grandmaster say this, that grandmaster say that. And uh, in the reality, there is no grandmaster. Now, I'm saying this, not to put down anybody, but to let you guys who really want to learn the art of uh, Chinese Kung Fu or Wing Chun or Shaolin and I uh, want to get into the internal to make sure you guys know what is going on, what you get into. Or else it is like uh, wasting your life and also you know Life is not easy. For somebody who was born and uh, have a healthy body or so forth, probably they can live through life uh, as they like. But uh, most of us are not like that. Most of us is struggling. So what you learn in be it Wing Chun or different Chinese martial or meditation or qigong need to be able to help you in daily life. Or else it is a waste. So that is the angle I am speak from. Don't waste your life. And so today I'm going to share with you the big picture, the roadmap, the procedure. Anybody, it doesn't matter what he claim or what is his title, if they doesn't follow what I'm saying in this video, you walk away. Because you know it is guaranteed they are not going to get the full result. It is this sure now for us. Okay, so let's go start. Now, to begin this, <clears throat> usually you can read about something like this. A crucial component in generating Thing power is for the body to be relaxed. For the body to be relaxed, the mind must be relaxed. This sounds good, but is that true? Sorry, this is completely wrong. Okay. For the body to be relaxed is not the crucial component in generating power. Anybody who really have trained it, be able to have the skill, no, it is not that way. 
For the body to be relaxed, the mind must be relaxed. That also is strong. Okay. Actually, the truth is the reverse. Your mind cannot relax unless you know how to relax your body. So this is a problem. That's why I want to make this video today to share with you all the procedure or what is going on. So like this, you say that techniques require connection, which is so slow, which is too slow. Develop the sensitivity to let the person's energy guide you. What is the techniques? What, what is the energy? This is a problem. If you don't define it, you're just talking something which is, again, like the uh, Ronnie Dangerfield's Back to School movie. Gadgets. I'm going to manufacturing gadgets. Well, what is the gadget? I'm going to manufacturing gadgets to make a lot of money. So what is the gadget? You, you better define this thing. And also, as here you said, then the moment you feel the you feel that bother for a millisecond, you take the right action and step out of the way and redirect that energy to where it's no longer dangerous to you while simultaneously attacking it for even daring to try to roll over you. This is actually people being brainwashed by many of the Tai Chi or Wing Chun people. Then the moment you feel that border, you take the right action. You got a car hit you with a 60 mile per minute and see whether you have time to feel and see that your body, like especially people in Wing Chun, be able to handle the step away. For example, when you face like Uncle Bruce Lee's attack, the shoot in, do you have the time to feel? Okay to feel and take the right action to step out the way. You don't in the real life. Okay? Why? Because this is not based on the real world of momentum, but the, 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 the keeping talking about energy, uh, redirect feeling. Like all those people who do chi sao is daydream. So if you met, you face whatever like uh, Uncle Bruce Lee just now do to O'Hara, I guarantee you knock down in seconds. Because your body never trained. You don't even know what is the momentum. Okay. So let, let's get into really serious stuff. You want to talk about energy, you want to talk about chi, you want to talk the momentum, you want to talk about all the stuff, the real deal. You need to know that Wing Chun is based on Buddhist teaching. Okay? Wing Chun 1850 is based on Buddhist teaching. It's not today's chi sim and all this, this, this stuff. Because whatever today, the Shaolin, 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 the Qi Xin, the Mui, even like uh, the story of this grandmaster, that grandmaster, all <coughs> is baseless. 
It's like talking a uh, movie character. Like the Yip Man movie stuff. You take that for serious? Can that be a reason for anything? It is just called empty talk. Okay? So, Buddhist art, one need to know. There are two training of uh, Buddha's teaching, which is influence the Chinese, influence the Taoist, influence the Shaolin, influence the Qigong. And you can use that to teaching or to practice, to analyze in everything, which is I want to share with you now. Okay. So you need to start everything from the bottom, the teaching of the Buddha. Remember this, this is called Samatha. Samatha, which means tranquility, is said to be method to fostering strong state of mental absorption, which is called jhana when you when you arrive there. I'm going to explain to you. This has got to do with the calmness and awareness. How to develop your calmness and awareness. That's the first thing. The second is, or the second teaching is vipassana, literally clear seeing. Okay, but often, but more often translate as insight meditation. It's said to be method using a modicum of tranquility to foster moment to moment mindfulness of in constancy of event as they are direct experience in the present. You use this. Vipassana, you'll be able to see the reality. It's not a belief. It's seeing what it is there. Okay? This mindfulness creates a sense of this patience toward all elements, thus leading the mind to release from suffering. Now, so I read you this in the Buddha's teaching, Samatha and Vipassana. Everybody... Uh, might heard about it and uh, might know about it in later. So what is the reality? And how is this thing linked to the teaching of Shaolin, the teaching of Taoist, the teaching of Qigong, the teaching of uh, Wing Chun 1850, which is a real deal or the teaching of the uh, internet. First, we like to look into Samatha. Samatha is a calmness meditation. Meaning that when you, when you practice the calmness meditation, your, when, when your body calm down, your mind calm down, that is the, uh, to cause your body and mind calm down, everything calm down, that is the calmness meditation uh, with this Samatha. And in the calmness meditations, it will result in the greater your calmness, the greater your awareness. So, the deeper your calmness, the deeper your awareness, or the stronger your awareness. That is the the, the result of a Samatha practice. Okay? And, for example, over here, when your calmness get to a certain level, you get into the rest state, physiological light state. And uh, you got this type of awareness. Okay? This level of awareness. Now, when you, your calmness get deeper, your awareness increases, you get to the basic body and mind handling. 
when your calmness get even deeper, you get the effective body and mind handling. And this is where the Qigong is. You need that calmness and that awareness in order to get here. And then, it keep been going on. If you want to talk about internal arts. Okay? Hopefully, you got that. If you don't have the calmness, awareness, meditations, forget about what mind, power, whatever. Like when you practice your Xiu Lim Tao. It is not what you focus, total concentrations or mind power, those stuff. It is not. It is you need to develop the calmness meditations in order to get to the state, in order to be able to have the, the physiological state to handle what is in the physiological states. Now, and uh, for this, Vipassana, which is the insight meditations, the uh, insight meditations, that is when your calmness reach a state, a very high state, where your awareness get into that state of a, of a, a level. So in other words, when your calmness get into deep enough level and your awareness uh, expand or get into a, a deeper awareness, you reach the state of mindfulness. So mindfulness is not thinking, it's not intention. It is that your awareness grow due to your calmness and you reach that level. For example, you reach this level uh, in the effective body and mind handling. Then you, be, you have the ability to know your body or the mindful of your body and your mind. Or else you cannot effectively uh, handling your body and mind. Okay? So at this level, at this mindful level, you use the, the, the physiological state or your capability of your physiological state. You study, you observe the subject you want to study. That will lead you to the insight of that subject. Okay? So, in the Buddha's teaching, if you, using this mindful level of uh, ability, of course, this is can keep growing, but it say you use the minimum mindfulness level you have, uh, you observe the subject of interest, say, power, then you see the 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 the, uh, the 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 details of it, and if you use that reverse back to look into yourself, your mind, that is where you can achieve liberation. There's the path to liberate, meaning you observe your mind. You can see that your mind actually is keeping changing. You observe the sensations of your body. You observe your breathing of your in, inside your body. You observe the wind inside your body. Wind, like wind, you know, windy day wind. Wind is actually the chi in the body. You can see how it changed. That's how you can rebreak or get enlightened. Over here, you can uh, observe uh, different style. Like if you're a scientist, you observe the law of nature. Okay. Sorry, you observe the nature and you can come up with the law of nature. It's like a new Newton's observe the nature. So you can come up with the law of physics. So it is very important that uh, 
you need to have the training of the samatha and vipassana or the calmness meditations and the uh, inside meditations. If you want to study internal art or Wing Chun 1850s or uh, real Shaolin art or Zen or meditations or Qigong or whatever. If you don't have this calmness meditations, it's like a, you don't even have an engine for your, uh, for your car. Nothing you can do. So when people practice Qigong, they have to reach the state of a certain level of calmness and uh, awareness. Or else it's just uh, fantasy. And also, if you want to uh, study martial art, you also have to have a level of calmness and awareness. Or else, you will end up land swimming because you don't even know what you are talking about or what you are doing. Now, as for the inside meditations, all your Xiu Lim Tao practice is an inside meditation. So we know that inside meditation is on top of this calmness meditation. You have the calmness meditation and then you have the uh, inside meditation on top of that. Yong Xiu Lim Tao, Wing Chun 1850 Xiu Lim Tao is that. Inside meditations to observe the subject of interest. When you practice that, 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 uh, that, that Xiu Lim Tao. Okay, now. <laughs> so, anybody want a details of what I'm just telling you? It is in my book, Meditation Matrix. Okay, with the process and, and everything. It is in this book. If you really want to get deep into it and understand it. Now, because your training of Xiu Lim Tao is an inside meditation, you need to have your calmness up to a certain level of awareness to begin with and study or observe the subject you're interested in or your Xiu Lin Tao sets. That's why it is called the essence of details training. And within the Xiu Lin Tao, if you do this, the calmness and mindfulness and uh, study the subject, you will find the six core elements. You practice the Xiu Lin Tao 1850 using the Samatha and Vipassana, you will find the six core elements. And uh, first is your physical element. And uh, you will find the states, the three states within your physical element. The open states, how the joint open up, how the joint link together, how the entire thing become lightweight. You need to have a certain level of calmness and awareness in order to get here. Effective body and mind handling. So if you go through that, you have achieved this you are in the first core element, the physical element handling. Okay? Now, you continue on in, we'll get to your mind element. Again, there are three states there, which you will have the insight and uh, of course, your calmness and your, 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 your awareness grow even further when you get from the uh, physical element to your mind element. 
and uh, and, the, and this time you study your mind element. So you experience the uh, the different mind states. You can get into it. Same with breathing. There are four states here. Same with the chi, the, 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 the energy element. There are three states there. So this all from the physical element, mind element, breathing element, then the chi element, you have a total, a total of 13 states which you have to go through. And only when you go through this 13th stage, you really know what is going on there. That's why if you have go through the, the, the 13th stage, you know whoever say this, for the body to be relaxed, the mind must be relaxed is wrong. You know the person who, who wrote this never go through that. They don't even see what is the reality there. They don't have the insight of the the reality and the state, they will not be able to uh, get result. It is this clear. And then, from this basic human body, one further get into the strength element to investigate the strength and the force flow within the body. And then, on top of that, one can get into this momentum elements. Momentum is mass multiplied by uh, speed or velocity. When you move, you generate the momentum. So in the momentum element, you have the basic state. You have five states. Give birth, one momentum. Give birth to another momentum. Subdue, control, dissolve, and the waiting. So this is the six core elements. It is an inside meditation. When you practice Yulim Tao that way. Okay? Hopefully you can know. Of course, this is not going to get you enlightened. Like the, 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 the Buddha teach you so that you can see everything impermanent. No. But you are but uh, the design of Yulim Tao is actually based on vipassana, based on samatha and vipassana to let you know your body and you know how to handle it. There's a six core element. So it is in my book here. This entire thing with the process, with the sequence, with the ingredient is here. You don't need to go to the China anywhere in the cave to get a grandmaster or whatever in today this is the only thing which is this clear to show you the procedures the 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 the, the details which is again based on the teaching of buddha that, that's what it is okay This is just the basic. So knowing the six core element is really it's just like basic body, mind handling. And you keep develop it, you will go to the Qigong, you will go higher, more and more advanced. You're traveling this way. If you never get into here, Who knows what, what you have? So in today's world, in Wing Chun, in Qigong, in Tai Chi, you, you can see majority of people do not have this type of training, do not have this type of experience, but they just like this. Have their ideas, their philosophy, which is Really, it is just something, is, as Uncle Bruce Lee said, it is what? Land swimming. Okay? 
And that is wasting of life. Now, that is not, not all. This is just a very basic. That's why in this book it said, basic Wing Chun Queen. Basic. Now, if you have this basic, and of course, this is you need to you need to uh, verify with science today's modern science. If you have this basic, you can okay. So this is a six core element: the ph physical mind, breathing, chi, forceful momentum. You can uh, link it to the heart rate zone. And you know what type of a physiological state you are training over there. And uh, you know about your chi flow, your momentum, and of course your body, and your action and reaction force. Okay? Because it's all six core elements. Now, you, you, when you do a Shulin Tao, a palm strike or a palm in the Xiulin Tao, you know all this element. Okay? And uh, that is described in the Wing Chun Inception book in details. How the Qi is supposed to flow. Qi not flow just because of uh, as you like. Or as which grandmaster say what. And also you see that this is velocity, this is mass, this is where the momentum is. And you see that this is the action force, this is the reaction force. That is where your far jing over here. So the entire thing, if you <coughs> proficient with this, you are up to this level to the minimum. Of course, you can go further and further where you practice. This is a journey. It never ends. If you have the basic, you'll be able to notice all this. When you practice your Shulin Tao or when you do it in the fighting. Now, so the entire thing is in this book already. Your homework has been done. The, the sequence, the procedure have already given it to you. Okay? Now, but for this, the first is physical mind breathing and uh, chi element, where over here you are loosening up your stuff. That is not going to give you power until you get your strength and element and, and the momentum element. So, this is wrong. The crucial component in generating power is for your body to be relaxed. No, your body relaxed only can achieve relaxing your body like in the basic of the calmness meditations. Okay, relax your body. You can only rest in there. It's not going to get you the power. Why? Because this is only knowing your body, how to operate. How so that thing can operate smoothly? And how you handle your strength? How you handle your momentum? Like this. Now. You need the muscular endurance. You need your... Uh, neuromuscular coordinations with this type of training in order and uh, this type of training the momentum shoot out training contract extend training to generate power to 
to generate power. So relax itself is not going to get you power because you don't have what I just shared with you. So at this part, you want power at this part, This is not enough. You need to get to the level of this, 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 which is I have written the entire thing in this book. Okay. <clears throat> so the details is in respecting Wing Chun. Power doesn't come cheap. Power is not from relax. Power is you need to develop the, this is like a running, uh, sprinting for really quick type of training with all this uh, resistance and everything. Okay, this is handling the multi-direction strength. And this is to actually activate your body's muscle, to train your body's muscle. This is to contract and extending your body in a really uh, forceful way, uh, in the really high intensity exertion. For sure, it never is relaxed. Okay? So, it is in this book. Now, one other thing is one need to know different type of uh, training come with different type of breathing. Okay. So this breathing is just give you the basic for fighting, for uh, fitness, for different applications. It come with different type of breathing. And uh, that link to directly be able to link to your heart rate, your, your breathing rate, your HRV, okay, your uh, VO2 max. Also, your intra-abdominal pressure and uh, how you want to exert force is linked to your breathing which is uh, in my book, Decoding Wing Chun. So the truth is, you have to go through this basic. Get deeper to this so you'll be able to handle your body. Get all this muscular, neuromuscular, endurance training and so forth to generate your power. Get your breathing and your body conditioning in an, uh, anaerobic, in aerobic. Get that basic. Get your intra-abdominal pressure handling, the core handling. And know how the strength and the core handling, everything can uh, fit, uh, fuse together how to use it to generate the power. You want internal, you want mindfulness, blah, 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 everything. I just share with you the entire thing. Go back and watch it. This is the most complete thing ever present to the public for past 160 years in Wing Chun since the, 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 uh, the, the loss of uh, the, 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 the Red Boat Wing Chun uprising. Nobody ever to tell you this clear on this thing. Why? Of course, this is secret, right? If you have this procedure, these details, you'll be able to develop it. If you don't, you will never be able to get it. Now, today I'm giving you this. Because it's a different world. I'm giving you this 
so that you know where you are. So you don't screw your body. So you can have a well healthy body. So you can live a better life. Don't keep in thinking, fighting, fighting, fighting. Okay? Thinking you have to have a, a healthy body uh, so you can have a good living and uh, you can help your family. Not those movie stuff. Not those keeping fighting, playing gung-ho stuff. That doesn't contribute much for uh, human society to be to be uh, grow constructively, and it is not going to, to to contribute to your life in the long run. Of thinking those fighting, oh this. Now on contrary, if you don't know this thing, whatever you think, uh, whatever you train, what is that? So the truth is here. So you can see from the Buddha's teaching to all this chi, whatever you want to know, is in this video. It's in that few books already there. Okay? It is very easy today to check who is a real expert in it or not. You just look into whatever all these details I just shared with you. If they will not be able to, 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 to share with you in details and in the proper direction, proper sequence, you know that he doesn't have the experience. First, you are not going to develop anything there. So this is what I'd like to share with you today. Uh, the bottom line is we live in this world. Fighting is needed only when it is really, really needed to keep peace for the world. Of course, we need to know the knowledge of fighting. But for everyday life, you and me have to live every day until, like me, 65 now. And it, it is, you can look at that. I born with a uh, diabetic type 1. Is that a curse or is that a, a blessing? A curse is, it is suffering just to live daily life. A blessing is because of this diabetic type 1, I'd be able to sort out whatever I share, I, I share with you. But after I go through this, like the Buddha's uh, Vipassana, the insight meditation, you can see that this body is actually getting weaker and weaker as I'm aging. And thus, because I know this in my body, I know everybody is like that. Of course, not those uh, superstar who is lucky, who is... Uh, uh, born healthy and everything, but most of us have to go through this. So what tools do you have to help you to live a better life? If 40 years ago, when I just got the writing of the 1850s Wing Chun from my Sifu, if I know what I have wrote down in that book for you all, Today's my life will be much, 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 much more better. Okay? Because I know how to deal with this body. But I'm the guinea pig for past 40 years on all of this. What I go through is really suffering. And so I just hope that you don't have to go through this suffering. Do something good for your family. Do something good for yourself. Do something good for your country. The Buddha's teaching is real. The Chinese Qi teaching and all this teaching is real. But you need to have the procedure to get in. 
the Wing Chun 1850s teaching is really deep. If you read all my book, it's proven even scientifically. However, if we don't know this, it's like a, your grandfather leave you a billion dollar in that safe, but you do not have the combinations code for that to, 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 to open that, 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 that combination locks of that safe. Then you don't get anything. Sitting outside there, do not look into that combination so that you can open that lock and be able to get the, the, the money inside the safe. It doesn't help, isn't it? So this is to share with you today, okay? Take care of your health. Take care of your family. Take care of your living. Make more money. It's always good for you, okay? But do it in the, in the proper way. Helping your country. That is the teaching of uh, Wing Chun 1850, okay?